Today we're tasting two meads from Two Warriors Meadery. First up is Battle Weary, a honey hibiscus wine, and next up is Parish Peach, honey wine with natural flavors. Let's get to pouring. So Derka already poured some of the uh, Battle Weary for me, but we're going to, uh, oh, the cork pop. <laughs> it's Two Warriors Meadery. So obviously they were both in the military and they wanted this to be an important one. Um, the art on this is absolutely beautiful. And let me explain what this is about. Floral notes of hibiscus balance the sweetness of local honey in our battle weary. The label pays tribute to Lester Davis, who joined the Marines in 1948 at the age of 14. He was trained on the M4A3 R3 Zippo flame tank depicted here. Davis's tank crew had the honor of being featured in the 1949 movie Sands of Iwo Jima. In 1959, two weeks prior to his 17th birthday, Staff Sergeant Davis was given command of 12 M26 Pershing tanks and 60 men in Korea. Pretty cool story and a pretty awesome label. They also did a uh, presentation to him and his family with the Battle Weary bottle. It was actually really cool. That's awesome. Um, they have that on their site, so you can see it if you wish. This is 8% alcohol by volume, by the way. A little on the lower side. Usually their stuff is like 10 to 11. Do we want to go ahead and taste this? And yeah, let's taste this? one, then we'll okay. move on to the other. Okay. So right now, this is Battle Weary. So we're talking about Battle Weary. So I have my Battle Weary in our Mud Heads Two Warriors Meadery mugs. These are super cool. I'll have links to all the stuff in the description below. Now, this is Honey Hibiscus. Right off the bat, the color is gorgeous. Very hibiscus, yeah, you can tell hibiscus that. hibiscus always colors things so nice. It's, it's this beautiful reddish hue. Loving the smell. Getting a little bit of the hibiscus. Getting, um, there's something else in there too. And the honey. Their honeys that they get are very distinctive. Yeah. Um, just, they're, they're always, it's distinctive is the easiest way to describe it. it. Has a specific smell palette that you don't get at other places. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. That is lovely and smooth. It's a little sweet. Um, I think he warned me this one was gonna be sweet. I like it. I'm definitely getting the honey profile up forward. Absolutely. And then the hibiscus comes in. Just kind of a little accent. The little bit of citrus, citrus, yeah. Citrusy. Citrusy. Yes. Yeah, that. That comes in there. I'm getting something more complicated from it. It, it, it tastes. Yeah, there's something else in there. There's, there's, there's actual citrus in here. Or if there's not, the hibiscus that he used has a strong citrus note. But I'm feeling maybe like lemon almost. It's interesting because it's, there's something in there that kind of reminds me of scotch. And I, I don't know why my brain's going to scotch because there's nothing peated mm. about it. There's nothing, but there's a, a hint of manliness. Is that a thing? I don't know. It's I, called battle weary. I, but it's, it's flowers and honey. You'd think it would be more floral, but it's not coming across Maybe floral. Maybe it's sweat. It's, it's <laughs> you stop. I know Curtis works hard, you know? I don't mean, he, it's a joke, you know what I mean? Um, no, I get, there's something else to it, almost like a plum kind of flavor. Yeah. I'm not really getting a scotch thing like you're saying. And I'm, I'm wondering- just, I'm just trying to find a word. This is place. lower ethanol than what we normally do, but there's higher sweetness than we normally do. Yeah. So I'm thinking the honey that they used is giving off a lot I think, more essence I think we're than normal. A lot more of the honey profile. The mouthfeel on this is phenomenally it's good. Lovely. Really good. It's like, really nice. Yeah. I don't think I'd want this to be much higher in alcohol. Mm -mm. Because this'll this'll get you crocked. I mean this this is nice. This is really good. I guess what I'm trying to verbalize and I'm failing miserably at doing so <laughs> is that typically when you think of something floral and something sweet, you think of like a a cocktail that's fruity and Fru -fru. This is not coming across as, oh, as no. that personality. It's 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 more grounded. It's more It's earthy. Earthy, yeah. Well that's hibiscus can be like that. It's mm -hmm. this this is a powerful flavor. It's actually got a lot of flavor. Um the hibiscus is balanced so nicely with the honey though. Mm -hmm. A lot of times hibiscus can be overly tart and kind of off-putting. Nope. And that's probably why he nope. made this sweeter, because yeah. that balances the uh, hibiscus really nicely. Good job, Curtis. That's, yep. that's a really a lovely mead. Now, on to Parish Peach. Dun, dun, dun. So, those of you who follow along with us uh, know that... Peach hasn't always been friendly to me. We've had some difficulties with Peach, but we did finally... 
Wait. Oh, yeah. Something about the cork pop. Don't know what it is. Just love cork pops. We're, we're weird that way, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. It smells like peach. Well, that's good. I'll pour and then I'll read. All right. Oh, well, that's a perfect clarity, a perfect color. It's definitely the 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 mead oh, hue yeah. that you would expect. More to yellow. Get that's the peach. Yep. Okay, so this one made from the best local peaches our area has to offer. They're in Louisiana. Uh, Parish Peach is a sweet peach variety with rich floral notes served best chilled with your favorite dessert. Well, we're breaking the rules, doing it at room temperature. Uh, they use only local ingredients, and a portion of every sale goes to local veterans charities. I, do they ship? Uh, yes, they do. Ooh. They have um, a supplier or a whatever. They have they, they have links. I'll put the links. They made a deal with somebody to they be did. able to ship. Yeah. Basically I, what she's saying. I but it's www.twowarriorsmeetery.com. We'll also have a link in the description so you can go there. Uh, they've been a sponsor of the show. For a long forever. time. Ever. Been sending us yeah. meads to try out. Yeah. We've, and um, we've got we may or may not be. Working on something with them soon. But we have we have met Curtis and his family. Yes, we did. Um, I'm gonna be going up there. Yeah. But that's that's later. That's later. Right now it's peach. Not getting quite as much peach as I'd hoped. This hope. one I think should have been tasted first. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to be like that because you know Kurt sent us this stuff and this because uh, the the battle weary is, is just so good, so flavorful, has such a strong flavor profile. This one's a little lighter. This one's more lighter delicate. flavored. Yeah, delicate. That's the word. Yep, it's yep. delicate. I can see where they suggest having this chilled. I think this being chilled would be lovely. It'd be really nice and refreshing. And, I think and, it's nice the way it is. And crisp. Now that I've wiped my mouth out with the first sip. The second sip is mm. actually really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It's got a good viscosity, not quite as thick as the Battle Weary. Yeah. Um, the flavors, though, are actually quite nice. Um, it's subtle. It's more of a honey wine with peach flavor than a peach mead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really different. Now, I'm saying honey wine because legally that's what they have to call a lot of their stuff just because of the way the laws work in the US. Um, but honey wine, mead, same thing. Don't get that confused with white wine with honey added. That's yeah. a whole different thing. No. That's not honey wine. They ferment the honey. Oh, yeah. This is also 8% by volume. Interesting. But there's a lot of honey in it. Don't don't think that they skimped on the honey. It's actually very honey forward. Yep. It's lovely. I, I like it. I really want to try it chilled, but... Oh, we can't get your eyes. If you've through. ever seen our chaos setup <laughs> video, you know what's between us and the refrigerator. So yeah, we can't really try this chilled. But I think chilled this would be lovely. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll do that later. But uh, what else can we say about this? I'm getting some nice floral notes from the peach. Yeah. Um, not so much a strong peach. It's almost more of an apricot flavor, really, which is not uncommon. Right. And I'm getting that unusual little bit of tang that you tend to get from apricot, mm -hmm. which is inherent in peach as well. Um, and so that's nice in a contrast to the sweetness of the honey. But like you said, this isn't nearly as Yeah, if we sweet. tried this one first, we'd probably like it just as much as we like Battle Weary. Yeah. But, yeah. but by comparison, this is much more delicate and light. Yeah. Where Battle Weary is like a, a punch in the face. Yeah. Makes this, yeah, I didn't think of that. Didn't know. Hey, you know, that's, know. that's the we trick to doing multiple tastings yeah. is everything's relative to the next or the previous. So yeah. it's very difficult to do that. But don't think we don't like this because mm -mm. I could probably drink this one easier than I can drink Battle Weary. Yeah. Just because it's not I could see... Forceful. A hot day, putting this on ice mm -hmm. and drinking quite a significant amount of this. Yeah. Where the battle weary, uh, mix this with seltzer water. You just Lovely. need, just need a nice glass and just take your time with it mm -hmm. and enjoy it for what yeah. it is. Right. It's kind of like summer, winter. Absolutely, I can see that. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, these are two new great expressions from Two Warriors Mirror and Meadery. If you have the opportunity to purchase them. I highly suggest you do so. Also, if you can do before August of 2024. Yeah, they're raising their prices just gonna, a little bit yeah. because they have not raised them in like four years or right. something like that. And, and they, the costs are starting to catch cost up. Cost of honey, so. cost of materials, cost of everything is going up. Yep. So after August of 2024, they're going to have to raise their prices oh so I think it's little. like two bucks a bottle. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's it's not, not a, a significant amount. amount, but you know. But every little bit counts. Instead so of so buy like now. 14 cases before then, and then maybe they don't have to raise their prices after all, you know. Um, anyway, Curtis, 
if you're watching, and I hope you are, maybe at some point. Good thank job. you so much for sending us this stuff. These are wonderful. Yes. And um, we're always open to testing out more means when you make them. <laughs> always. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.